Okay, a YouTuber requested that I make a video showing how to solve nonogram puzzles. I found a good site, www.puzzle-nonograms.com. If you go to that site, they have online puzzles you can solve. Here's an example of a nonogram puzzle. This is a 5x5 five five nonogram. It's a 5x5 five five grid. There are a total of 25 white blanks and they have to be filled in. Certain ones are filled in, certain ones are blank. Um, they'll either be a black square, or if you're going to leave it blank, you can put an X in it, and the X really helps you to see where the, what has to be blank. So if I were to solve this puzzle, the first thing I would do, I notice that there's a four on the bottom. That tells me there's going to be four black squares in a row across the bottom. Well, it could be these four, or it could be these four. One, two, three, four. I don't know which it is, but it's either going to be those four or those four. I can see that those three, no matter what, they have to be filled in black. Now a nice trick I use when I want to figure out which ones have to be a certain color, if I count across um, four, one, two, three, four, and then count across four from the other side, one, two, three, four, I know everything between those two squares has to be filled in. Now when I get to solving larger puzzles like 10 by 10 or 15 by 15 grids, that trick really comes in handy. Um, if I look here, I see two, a blank, and two. That means I have to have two black squares, some number of blank squares, and two black squares. Well, two plus one plus two equals five, so I already know one, two, blank, one, two, that that has to be in this column. When I look back at this four, one, two, three, four, they're all filled in, so I know that this one cannot be filled in. If I look here at this three, it says in this row there have to be three black squares in a row with no spaces between them. Well, there's already one there, so one, two, three. That tells me that these two last ones have to be blank. If I look here at two and two, well, I've got two black squares. I have to have a blank next to those two black squares. And then I have to have two more black squares. Well, that's all that'll fit. Now, when I look over here, I have two black squares, a blank, and one black square. Well, here's two black squares, a blank, and I can't put in the one square because I don't know which one it goes in. If I look here at this three, that means in this, co in this column, there are three black squares in a row. One, two, it has to go here. If it goes there, there's a gap. So one, two, three, that means this has to be a blank. If I go back to this um, row, it says there's only gonna be one black square in that row, nothing else. Well, there's the one black square, so everything else has to be blank. This two tells me there's two black squares that are connected in this row and nothing else. So I'll fill those in. Now when I look up and down here, this tells me there has to be one black square. Well, there are none so far. There's only one square left, so that has to be it. This one tells me there's one black square. Well, there's already one black square, so that can't be it. So I have two and one, two and one. It all checks out. So this puzzle has just been solved. Now I will, um, I'll go ahead and solve another puzzle just to talk you through to let you get some practice seeing how these work. So here's a new puzzle. All right, when I look at this puzzle right away I see two fours. Um, those come in pretty handy. If you remember the trick, I'll do this one first. I'll count down one, two, three, four, and I'll count up one, two, three, four. That tells me everything between these two black squares has to be filled in. I don't know about this one or that one, I just have to wait. But I can come over and do the same thing with this four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Everything in between here has to be filled in. Now, um, right off the bat, I can see in this middle row, it's going to be one black square, some number of blanks, and one black square. Well, I've already got the one black square and the one black square, so blank, blank, blank. Um, this one, I can see that I have to have two black squares and then a blank. So one, two, 
and then a blank. And it also tells me that on the other side I have to only have one black square. I've already got one black square, so I'll fill in the blank. If I look up here, this tells me I have one and then a blank. Well, there's one and then a blank. And then I have to have three in a row. Well, there's one, two, three. So we're getting pretty far here. The trick I used with the fours, I can also do with the threes. I can count over one, two, three, one, two, three. So I know for sure that one has to be filled in. I also could tell that because I had to have two black in a row. Well, it has to go there because two black wouldn't fit down here and I already had one there. Same thing here. I have two black in a row. Well, there's only one space here, so it can't be there. They've got to be there. Um, I'm getting a little closer. Let's see. This tells me there just has to be one thing in this column. One um, black square. It's already filled in, so I do the blank and I do the blank. Now when I go across the top, I need three black in a row. Well, it can't be over here, so it's got to be over here. One, two, three. So that must be a blank. Now here's four. When I count one, two, three, four, blank. And here's got to be four, blank. One, two, three, four. So I've just solved that puzzle. And um, these puzzles are a lot of fun. Um, I've worked at them a bit, and the fastest I've ever solved one is 16 seconds. Um, if you go to the site that I told you about, to www.puzzle-nonograms.com, there are a whole bunch of these puzzles. And here's how you solve a 5x5 five five nonogram. And um, I hope you have fun with it. I think they're great puzzles. Thanks.